Taiwan to look into Ukraine's experience for defense drills against China. At this year's annual military drills, Taiwan will practice kill zones at sea to break through a blockade and simulate a scenario where China suddenly turns one of its regular exercises around the island into a real attack, reports Reuters. China, which considers democratically governed Taiwan its territory, has been conducting regular exercises around the island for the past four years to pressure Taipei. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine two years ago, Taiwan has been looking to see what lessons it can learn and integrate into its own exercises, especially how the much smaller Ukrainian forces have been able to fend off the larger Russian military, the media said. Tung Chi Sing, head of the Ministry of Defense's Joint Combat Planning Department, said those would again feature this year, along with the lessons learned from the war in Gaza. Taiwan begins its major annual Han Kuang exercises this month with tabletop exercises extended from the usual five days to eight, considering the number of scenarios that will be included with real combat exercises in July. Tung said at a briefing that the exercises would focus on how to respond fast to one of China's exercises that suddenly escalates into an attack, something military planners have begun to worry about as they become regular. According to Tung, another issue is how different branches of the forces can organize a coordinated response to a Chinese blockade. The exercises will involve naval forces, aviation and coastal defense, coastal anti-ship weaponry and drones to create a maritime attack and kill chain, he added. In addition, we will use naval and air forces and coast guard ships to jointly carry out escort operations to ensure sea and air links to the outside world remain open, Tung said. China regularly conducts military exercises around Taiwan. During one of the major drills around Taiwan in April of last year, China simulated precision strikes and the blockade of the island. According to Washington, China is expanding its military and nuclear arsenal. These signs indicate that it is prepared to invade Taiwan by 2027. U.S. Senate leader Ukraine runs out of more soldiers' ammunition because of lack of American funding. Ukraine is failing on the battlefield because of a lack of American funding, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said. He demanded the House Republicans pass the $61 billion aid bill as soon as possible. Schumer, a New York Democrat, brought up Ukraine in a speech about the upcoming U.S. legislative agenda. The Democratic Majority Senate passed the funding proposal in mid-February, but the Republican Majority House has not voted on it yet. The situation in Ukraine is desperate, Schumer said, claiming that the funding bill has been collecting dust for 55 days while our friends in Ukraine fight and die on the battlefield with no support. With each passing day, Ukraine is running out of more soldiers' ammunition and hope. He added, let's be blunt, the biggest reason Ukraine is losing the war is because the hard right in the Congress has paralyzed the US from acting. That's it. That's the reason, Schumer said. By passing the bill, House Speaker Mike Johnson would do the right thing for Ukraine, for America and for democracy, the New York Democrat argued. Otherwise, he claimed the Republicans would hand a large victory to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Schumer made much the same argument while visiting Ukraine in late February, claiming that if Kiev gets the money, they will win the war and beat Russia. Democrats have sought to split the GOP into moderates and MAGA Republicans. Referring to former U.S. President Donald Trump's campaign slogan, Make America Great Again, to get support for their legislative agenda in both chambers of Congress. The tactic has paid off in the Senate, where 22 Republicans voted in favor of funding Ukraine more than offsetting three Democrats who were opposed. Ukrainian fighters have targeted a large number of military equipment in the territory of the gas station used as a Russian army's warehouse in the occupied Bolshikopani village of Kherson region. The military equipment detected by the Shark drone were hit by the HIMARS missile launcher and destroyed. Pol-21 radio electronic warfare system is among the destroyed equipment. As the warehouse was being used as a repair base, the equipment under repair were blown up as a result of the strike. The number of casualties among personnel is not reported.
заправку. Этот дом 